Yeah. 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 I said try to point, but um, <laughs> under your bill, you say that the local inclusionary rules are preserved. Is that correct? Yeah. First of all, I don't think it's very clear yeah. if you could do something about clarifying it. I urge you that, to do that is constructive feedback, and I appreciate it. Yeah. I think we will do but that. Let me yeah. uh, continue. If you say that local inclusionary rules apply, San Francisco, as you know, permits being out. By that, I mean, I'm going to use everyone else what that means. Is if you're putting in inclusionary housing, you don't have to put it in the building you're building. You can pay a fee into a fund where it sits for some period of time. And yet you're talking about clustering housing around transportation centers, but the people who need it the most aren't going to be able to participate in that. How, how can you respond to that? Trina, thank you for that. And uh, uh, I, I, over my time with work supervisors, the uh, on site versus uh, being out of inclusionary was always the eternal debate. And there and no one's right or wrong. I think we all prefer to have developments that are mixed in combat as preferable. Uh, on the other hand, those fees go into the affordable housing trust fund, which then build things like um, senior housing, um, 100 percent senior housing or um, supportive housing for formerly homeless people. That's how we tend to fund it. So uh, there is a benefit to both, but ideally you want it to be mixed income. Uh, when the Board of Supervisors uh, reformed the inclusionary ordinance last year, um, uh, changing some of the percentages, uh, my understanding is that they significantly, uh, they made the fee out significantly less attractive financially. They increased uh, what the fee would be. Uh, and so, uh, and I think the goal of that was to have less of the fee that, That's my understanding of what they did uh, so that more people would do would do on site. But state law doesn't permit fee under, under 65, 915. It's got to be on site. Why shouldn't it? For something that is intended to cluster housing, the lower income people are going to need that, that transportation well, more than the Although higher. I would also hope that we would be building, would also want to be building 100% affordable buildings in there. And we built, you know, the um, the 55 Lagoon, you know, buildings where, you know, seen, say senior housing or emancipated foster youth housing or whatever the case may be, uh, that those fees help pay for that. And again, my preference is to have a mixed income housing. Mm -hmm. uh, however, there are reasonable minds can differ um, on that because the fees do pay for things that I think we all support. But regardless, my understanding is the Board of Supervisors last year made being out much less financially attractive. But the state policy manifests building on site. Yep, and, and, the the city, state law. and the city has made a policy of, since we're not um, changing local inclusionary. San Francisco has made a policy decision that there are two options. They just made one option much less attractive, so I think we're going to see a lot less of it. But that's that, that's what San Francisco um, decided. Of course, we're going to see.